Dave Robinson with Ryan Sanders watching an earthworm right around this radish. As soon as Ryan started digging, this earthworm pops right out from around that radish. We were just questioning how many earthworms might be out here and certainly we found one right at the, right at the top of the uh, uh, surface here. And as Ryan's trying to dig this radish out, here we go. This is the one that had a pretty big lip around it. And again, there's an earthworm right on the side and there's another one right there beside it. And look at all those fine roots coming off of the uh, radish as well. And uh, boy, just uh, tremendous, tremendous amount of root. Uh, oh, look at that. Just tremendous amount of root growth on this radish. Again, three earthworms right in the, um, right in the proximity of where that radish was. And that's what we're looking for. These are nutrient storage vessels and also uh, what I'd want to call an earthworm magnet. And it's just uh, fabulous how much root mass we have around here. And, um, you know, when these will die off this right along this smooth edge of the so surface here, uh, that'll be just nutrient rich. And that with all the earthworms as well, it's just going to make a fabulous uh, soil environment for next year's corn crop. And uh, that's what we're looking for as we're putting in these cover crops is enhancing and improving yields uh, for future yields and building soil. And this is pretty tough soil, but certainly looking a lot better after just a few months of having some cover crops on it. Dave Robinson, plantcovercrops.com with Ryan Sanders in the Edgerton, Ohio area of Northeastern Ohio.